To my love, just starting this letter feels strange, calling you my love. I really don't deserve to, but I'm still selfish, so I will. I just loved my little nicknames for you, and I love you. I'm certain of it now, even after what you did. If you're worried that I'm angry, believe me, I was sad too. But looking back, it seems fitting in a way. I so desperately tried to manipulate you, and in the end, you managed to manipulate me. I know I deserved it, after what I did. To be clear, I'm not mad anymore. I've thought about that moment non-stop since you left, and I saw you hesitate. Maybe I'm reading too much into it, but I like to think that you cared about me. Just a little bit. Enough to reconsider escaping. Or, maybe you did want to stay, but the sight of freedom was too much to ignore. I don't know. I'm likely just making up stories for my own sake. You probably hesitated because you didn't know if you could get away, right? I think you made the right choice for yourself, though. I hate it, but... I know you staying with me would only make me happy. I used to think that's all that mattered. Look what you did to me. Anyway, I'm not going to try to guilt you about it. This is the last you'll hear from me for a while, so I won't waste it complaining. As you've probably heard, I'm on the run. Surely you didn't think I couldn't charm my way out of an arrest. I guess you didn't tell them about my ability. Did you think they wouldn't believe you, or did you want to give me a chance to run? Or the opportunity to dig myself a deeper hole? I did say I wasn't going to use my ability as much anymore. Sorry for lying to you. I didn't expect the peak would immediately become a valley. I doubt I'll be found, but just in case, I'm going into hiding for a while. Give people time to forget but I know you won't forget. You'll always remember me. I couldn't make you love me, not really, but I've carved my existence into you. A part of me wishes I'd done that literally. Sorry, that's the bad part of me. I know that now. The selfish part. The part that can't stand being denied. The part that still wants to explode at the thought of there being someone I can't control. I thought I'd gotten better, but it was more like I'd calmed down because I'd gotten what I wanted. I'm sure you don't care about that, though. And if I'm lucky, I'll never have to sort this out with a psychiatrist. I'm sure we're both happier not thinking about how my brain works. Anyway, this is all a very long-winded way of saying that... You won't be seeing me for quite some time. You can relax knowing that I won't be coming after you. Needless to say, I don't exactly have the resources to keep you anymore, what with being unemployed and on the run. And if you were worried about some violent revenge, don't be. I still have no interest in killing you. I will miss you, though. I'll miss coming home and seeing you knowing you would always be there. I'll miss cooking for you. I'll miss hanging around with you, even though you hated it. I'll miss being close to you. Kissing you. But most of all, I'll miss the future we almost had. Even if it was just a fantasy. I'm getting too sentimental. I don't know if I'll be able to keep myself away forever, but I'll try as long as I can, for your sake. I don't know what the future holds. I've never been this uncertain about it before, but in a strange way, I'm excited about it, even if it isn't with you. So, goodbye, darling. Until we meet again, 
Love, Tiffany. P.S. I saw in the news that you got your old job back. Congratulations. I won't ask you to put in a good word for me to get mine back. Something tells me I'm not getting rehired.